Hello there viewers, welcome to another player spotlight on today's channel. You might notice that I am swinging in my brand new chair. We finally got a, a new chair guys, but finally uh, got rid of the dining room table. As you know, I've mentioned a few times now, it's my birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. So the present from my mum and my wife's mum was to give me money to get a brand new chair because they were fed up of me complaining that I use the dining room chair. And it came early, so I built it. And I'm using it now. So when it's my actual birthday, it's going to feel like I haven't really got anything. Unless we hit that 5,000 target of subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, birthday present to me is 5,000 subscribers. Can you help me there? We are so close. So close. Only 4,900. That's how many we have. Not that's how many we need. Because if that's... Then we are never hitting that. We are never hitting that. So... But anyway, I hope you like the chair. It actually has my initials on it. It's not for my initials. It's the company. But LR is my actual initials. So I was sold on it. Now enough Jargon talking about the, uh, the chair that I am sat on. Let's talk about the player spotlight. Now last week we had a couple of midfielders. The last two of the four midfielders that we have shown you. Some really good ones as well. If you haven't seen it yet, some Champions League finals have been hit with players who cost 45k. So that's enough to make you go and find out exactly who that is. Now, I don't know whether you have hit the goals of the 250 like target per video to make sure that you get two defenders this week. However, this is the first of the two that you will be getting or one of one if you didn't reach the target. But I have every single faith in you guys that you will hit that 250 like target. The other one, I think Isaac Bergman has just passed 250. So we should be good. We should be good. You guys are normally really good with the weekend one. So I'm hoping by Monday you have hit it. Now we have these two defenders this week. Now this defender that we're going to be looking at today arguably is one of the best young centre-backs on the game for, uh, for price, for potential ability, for... Just the fact that you can pick him up for most big European clubs because of the club he's at. That's three factors which I considered to make him really good. So, let's have a look at him. Now, here we have the Croatian, Josko Gvardiol. Probably not how you say it. Anyway, this guy is at Dynamo Zagreb, as you can see from the screen here. Now, he does play centre-back or left-back. But I think he is probably better suited for that centre-back role. He plays as a very good ball-playing defender, which is what we like. Now, this guy has a potential range of up to 170. So, I have gone on the editor and about a week ago when I first set this database up, I have set it so it is at least 160. And people have asked how I do that. I pick a random number, if I'm completely honest, between 160 and 170 because that's his highest potential range. And I hit, I hit it at that. In the future, I'm just going to go to the top. Because a couple of people just said, just go to the top. It makes it easier. We're not faffing around here. We want to see the potential that we could get from this player. And that's what these player spotlights are about, right? So, now, transfer-wise, I did say you can get in quite cheap. For the majority of European clubs, on the start of the game, you should have a good transfer budget. If I was buying this player... With this trans budget, I could get him because, viewers, you can pick him up for £5 million. Now, if you ask me, that is an absolute bargain because this player has some really good attributes from the off. As a 17-year-old, he's six foot one. He has a good jump and reach of 14. And as a 17-year-old, he has good strength as well of 14. He does have a few downsides, of course, position and is only 11 right now. But that will soon rise up and change. And let's hope we can see how good he gets in the future. Now the club I've chosen, he's playing in the Premier League. There's only one way for it. He's in the Premier League. He's not at a top four club either or a top six club. Let's have a look, shall we? No, he is not. He is at AFC Bournemouth. Now, by the looks of it, as I'm recording this, it looks like Bournemouth might be relegated this season. Uh, but we know that in-game, things tend to go a little bit differently. They are one of these teams who, football manager way, they play really well uh, because they have good attributes in the correct areas. And they have Callum Wilson, who seems to be unbelievable on this game. Now, the reason why I've chosen Bournemouth is simply for that reason. They are not one of the big clubs in England. They are a very underdog team. 
which means they're going to have to defend quite a lot. Which means our man, Josco Gvardiel, which I'm never going to get around to say him correctly, has got his work cut out. Now, at the start of the uh, the campaign, he has a current ability of 112. That is nowhere near good enough to be a centre-back in the Premier League. A good one, at least. So, two and a half star current ability, five star potential. Let's see how this guy does after a couple of years' time. Now, we are going to be playing the Phantom Menace tactic. I thought... They got a good. They got a good bunch of players who suit this tactic. So I thought, why not give this tactic a go? Uh, we know it's good. It's on an attacking mentality, which means leaves himself open for more defensive whack. I'm thinking ahead here, viewers, and I quite like the idea of seeing how well we can do once again with a phantom menace. Let's go forward. Let's go. Let's go forward a year first. Well, a year has passed, viewers, and the phantom menace has done its job once again. And Bournemouth, of course have done their job, which they always seems to do uh, after you simulate a season. They have managed to get Champions League football. 80 points, they totaled. And it's a miracle. And it's it's either... It, you can tell sometimes this game is not realistic because Dominic Solanke has scored 27 goals this season. Unbelievable stuff. And his value is absolutely outstanding. But we're not here to see how Dominic Solanke does. Oh, no, no. We are here to see how Josco Gvardiel does. And he has scored two goals and got one assist. But, of course, he's playing centre-back. We're more interested in other things. The average rating of a seven, I consider to be quite good. He also has played every game but one, which tells me yellow card-wise. He didn't do too bad. Just t picking up two in the Premier League. That's pretty good, really, isn't it, as a centre-back. So he's done quite well there. Uh, if we do look at his development after the progress and we go on attributes of all time, we can see he has risen up a few in different departments. Now, let's have a look more into how he has been doing this season. Because stat-wise, how has he been doing stat-wise? 61 tackles in total. He won 90% of them. Not bad. Not bad for a defender. The coach report is actually looking rather good for young Josco. He only has two cons so far. And he's finding it hard to adapt into a core group. I'm sure that will change after a couple of seasons. But he's also fairly susceptible to injuries. And so far, so good. He hasn't shown that as of yet. Now, remember, we only have him on loan. So we could look to buy him. But that's, that's not what we're doing here. Uh, he has some really good, strong pros, which you can have a look at there. I want to see more, though. Now, if we look at the defending stats of the Premier League, we're going to do this by teams because it's quite hard to see the players. The player ones, like defensively, is all the strikers, and it really does my head in that you can't really dive deep into uh, into what a defender does and, and, and sort of look at it that way. So we're going to do it in this sort of fashion. Now, conceded-wise, they conceded the fifth least amount of goals, which I think is actually really good. They managed to concede less goals than games, so that's actually quite impressive. From corners, they conceded seven goals, direct free kicks zero, and indirect free kicks of three. Uh, fourth, oh, that's just position. Now, we can see down here, clean sheets, Seventh in the league for clean sheets. Now, that is not bad for a 17-year-old uh, centre-back pairing with Steve Cook. Because that's who's been playing alongside him. I thought Nathan Ake would be the guy chosen to play alongside him. It was actually Steve Cook. So, think that what you will, viewers. Now, we are at the end of the third season, 2022. And Bournemouth are still in a round those European spots, this time qualifying for the Europa League, although Chelsea managed to qualify for the Champions League, so it does look like five teams in the Champions League. Great for English football. £98 million on the transfer budget as well. Callum Wilson scoring 53 goals. I told you he was a nightmare on this game, how good he actually is. It's ridiculous. But how have we done defensively? Now, if we do have a look at our man, Right, remember, this is just three seasons in. He is just 20 years old. And he is already at a current ability of 162. Remember, his top range is 170. And he's already at 162. Phenomenal stuff. And his physicals are just so good to look at. Because physicals are probably the most important thing in this game. No matter how many times you sign one of the old players. Because you think their technicals are really good. If they cannot run. and they can't, They're not very strong. They are pretty much pointless having them on your team. Now the technical attributes. 
doesn't look too appealing until you really dive into it. There's too many things that are half good, which takes away how good this guy actually is as a defender. So he does have 16 of heading, fantastic. Uh, he also has 15 long throws, should you choose to use him on that left-hand side. But he also has 14 marking, 14 passing, and 14 tackling. That's not bad considering uh, how well his mental attributes and his physical attributes actually are. He can get back. He can trace back if he is. If a man is, there's not going to be many players quicker than him. That's what I'm trying to say here. And mentally, he's got it. He's got good positioning. He now has great composure and anticipation. His concentration and decision making will need to be worked on a little bit more. But they're still better than most. And now he's also six foot two. So he's a towering figure at the back. How has he been forming though? How has he been performing? Still, a 7.02. In the Premier League, for a defender, I take that. I actually will take that. One assist per season. He even got three goals last season. Not too bad. Now I realise we didn't look at the cuts before. Nothing really happened up until this point. But in the third season, the first year of the uh, UEFA Europa League 2 happened and Bournemouth go on and win it. 19 goals by Callum Wilson. They beat Hoffenheim 1-0 in the final. So he has won a European trophy, viewers, in just three years as a centre-back. There he is playing in that game. Unbelievable. Fair play to him. So already outstanding. And in that tournament, he got a 7.57 average rating in 15 games. 7.57 for a defender. It's exceptionally good. Now, before we have a look any further, a couple of things I want to address halfway through the video here. Remember that there will be another one of these, another defender coming up if you've hit that 250 like target on the weekend. If not, it will be next week with a player, viewers, who cost less than a million pound. He plays left back and he is absolutely outstanding. He's exceptionally good. I cannot wait to show you. So make sure you are available to watch that on the weekend or next week. Get that thumbs up liked on this video. Get that thumbs up liked on that video. And we continue more player spotlights going forward. I have a few players lined up viewers. I've just tried. A player who cost nothing. 16 years old. Cost nothing. And in his first season was a top scorer. 16 years old. Exceptionally good player. Zero pennies. Very good player. So you know what to do. Like button. And we also, of course, have the Patreon, should you wish to support me on that as well. Just a few bucks a month if you can afford to. Uh, the main goal for this in the long run is to get me full time. That would be absolutely fantastic. More player spotlights for you, more content for you. Nice. Happy days. And I can quit my job, which I don't like. But also, there is also a target of $600 a month. If we get that target, we are going to be doing a 12-hour live stream on twitch.tv forward slash Gaming. So please, if you want to see that and you would like to support me for giving you all these player spotlights that I've been doing recently because it takes a long time to find these players, to set up the database, to go like seven years in the future, then to do the video and then to edit it, to upload it for you guys. It does take a lot of work. If you appreciate that and you would like to support me in any way more, then please have a look at the patreon.com forward slash forward slash Omega Luke Gaming. There's actually a few rewards on there as well, including some merchandise viewers. But here we are then, 2024. And this is the end of the fifth season. And if you can see here, although we finished in ninth place, we have a UEFA Champions League thing qualification next to our name least move set another overpowered striker we have signed 38 goals doing really well this is because viewers in the europa league we have won the europa league so not only did we win the europa 2 we have now won the europa league only if in two years time we win the champions league right then that would just be completely perfect which by the way the europa league has been dominated by the english teams recently speaking of english teams we beat an english team in the final 3-2, that was Chelsea, they came uh, and they did, oh my god, a Callum Wilson 94th minute goal, Calvin Staines with an 82nd and 83rd minute, crushing our hopes after the 2-0 uh, the, the lead that we managed to pull off, but then Callum Wilson the 94th minute regained our lead and then exceptionally Bruno Fernandes in a Chelsea shirt, gutted, but anyway it doesn't matter, Gavardio played in that final, that's two trophies now, two finals he's played in, two wins, in European trophies. Unbelievable stuff. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. 
169 current ability, so I did put this one up quite high. And I'm glad I did, viewers, because look how good he can potentially be for your team. He is now a four-star, which I think is quite underrated, because this is Bournemouth. That should be a five-star. That should be a five-star, but he is absolutely ex exceptional. Some 16s here, some 15s where we needed it before. Remember the tackle in the mark in the passing. Always on a 14. Now it's a 15. It's looking even more glorious. We've also seen a few uh, concentration and decision makings. That's gone up as well in the last two years. So as he's got to the age of 22, which is still considered a very young player, he's one of the best centre-backs in the world, viewers. One of the best centre-backs in the world. A ball-playing defender as well. He's very good with the ball at his feet. He's composed and he can pass the ball. It's exceptionally good. He dives into tackles, but he plays short, simple passes. He's a great ball-playing defender. Now, in the last couple of seasons, he had an... Oh, my God. What a season that is for a centre-back. Seven goals, two assists. Wow. 7.16 average rating in 38. He, he went three seasons without missing a game. Remember, and he's supposed to be injury prone. I don't think so. No suspensions, no in, no injuries whatsoever for three seasons. Very good stuff and good average rating as well. He's missed four this season, so he's probably picked himself up an injury. A couple of injuries there. Fair enough. Well, he's missed a couple of games. I'm sure that's allowed in four seasons. Not bad. So we end this video after seven seasons and once again Bournemouth are in the Champions League. So they've done really well yet again beating out Manchester United on goal difference to make the Champions League fourth spot. Although it does look like Man United won something because they also have qualified. Fair enough. Uh, Gabriel Barbosa, 34 goals but at least Mousset uh, getting a very high average rating. So some really good stuff there that we can see now i do see down here they lost in the quarter final of the euro cup they finished fourth in the premier league which we've seen lost in the fifth round and lost in the semi-final of the carabao cup so they didn't win anything this season uh, but i wonder how our man has done well of course he isn't gonna get much better because his attributes were the highest they could possibly be in the last section of this video 169 current ability so he hasn't gained anything that much but oh yes he has scored some goals though viewers 10 goals so if we look at this guy's career it turns out that the last season they actually won the fa cup as well so phenomenal stuff from bournemouth they've done very well since signing josco Gvardiol. they won the euro 2 they won the Euro Cup, the Europa League, and they won the FA Cup, so they won something every couple of years. I think that is an absolute thumbs up. Fair play to them. They've done very well there. Cavario himself has won many, many awards, and I wish there was a way you can just sort this out so it just shows the important ones, but... You know, you can scroll through and have a look yourself. Also, if you want the save game file of this, the Patreon... That's where I put them. Every time I do a player spotlight, I load up the save game file on the Patreon, either the, the, that same day in the evening or the day after so that you guys can have a look for it or you can play on from this. It's completely down to you what you do with it. It's just there if you would like to, as well as the save game files of my actual series that I do of World Roth Domination or the stream save, which we have just started again with Andalek. So if you haven't seen that already, uh, please take a look on twitch.tv forward slash Omega Luke Gaming, we are on there with Andelect for Title Collector. All of those save game files available on the $4 tier on Patreon. But there we have it then, viewers. A phenomenal player, to say the least. Josco Gvardio, one of the best centre-backs on this game after just two or three seasons. You can't really argue with that for £5 million from Dynamo Zagreb. So I would suggest, if you are one of these big European teams... That you snap this guy up if you have, if five million is not like a lot of transfer budget to you, you can afford to just lose five million. It's worth just picking this guy up because even as a backup centre back, he's going to do the job for you. But if you want to use him as your actual first team centre back, you've just seen how good he could potentially be. He has turned Bournemouth into a big European side now, winning two European trophies along with all the other players. I get that, and I'm playing the Phantom Menace. But he is still the guy who is stopping goals being conceded, which in turn wins games. So fair play. I think Josco Gradio is one of the best defenders on this game. A uh, potential range. He's just in behind of like uh, Delict and players like that who you're not going to get for this cheap. 
So this is a better alternative. And if you can get as good as this one, 170 current ability, of course, is highest potential, then you are absolutely winning, my friend. You can either sell him for an extremely high price and get all of that money back and then some, or you can just reap the rewards in and keep winning trophies with Josco Viario as your captain, maybe, because he's got decent leadership, or you can just you can just have him there and just bossing defenders. Or you can just reap the rewards and win all the trophies and all the competitions that you enter because this guy is a solid centre-back. Compliment him with a few decent players and you shouldn't be that far off winning the best trophies that the game has to offer. So there we have it then. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this player spotlight of a defender. We have another one, like I mentioned, coming up next. A left-back which is going to be very good. A good fullback uh, for less than a million pound. So make sure you do not miss that video when it comes out, whether it be on the weekend, if you hit that like target. If you didn't, it will be next week. But make sure you hit this like target and then the next one, and there'll be two more on the same week. That's the deal we have, the ongoing deal. This 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 unwritten contract that we have between me and you viewers that we seem to to, to enjoy and agree with uh, recently. So I hope that keeps it going. I'll keep doing my end of the deal if you keep doing your end of the deal. But of course, we are almost near that 5,000 subscriber mark. If you haven't done so already, press that button. Get me to 5,000 subscribers. And if not, viewers, I'll see you on the weekend for another one. Bye-bye. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's another one below that I have picked for you to have a look at. Also, if you'd like to sponsor me as a content creator by pledging to my Patreon page, you can do just that by following the link below and be like one of these wonderful people. Thank you.